I love National Italy Day. <laughs> and our celebration of all things Italian continues with Alessio Lacco, the Pizzallo from Pangea's, and right here in Evansville. And he's the pro who comes to tell you, teaches the stuff about the dough. Yes. Bad joke, I know. So, welcome, first <laughs> of all. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Now, let's, we have dough right here. What, what's in there? What's in there? It's made from flour, yeast, and water. So simple. Simple, yes. And we made uh, a pangea the day before. Mm -hmm. uh, so how you can see, it's really soft. It's it never is very soft. Never refrigerate dough, and uh, it's really hard to stretch. It's uh, hard to manage. So I'm not going to throw it in the air. I'm, no, you've already burst my bubble yes, about the stereotypical I, I, toss it in the air thing. That's American thing, American <laughs> stereotype. I'm sorry, we don't do this. We just stretch on the. On the table here. Okay, so what do we flour. need to do to make this work for us? Here? So we start uh, to cover all the dough with the flour. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to move this out so they can see your hands. All right. all right. Here we go. So we start from the barrel right here. So we kind of push the hair from the barrel to the top. And what's the purpose of that? Because all the all the Neapolitan dough, the crust, uh, it's uh, created by hair. So how you can see, we have a oh, on the crust pizza here, already right. made right here. And I can show you later how so it's made. That's what makes the edges rise up. Yes. So you're kind of pushing the yeah, air. Yeah, we push the hair. Okay. So it's kind of fluffy around the edges. And we love that, don't we? So yes. we do a couple times. And until we create about like seven inches, we start the slap. That's the Neapolitan. Then you start slapping it. Slap, you don't toss yes. it. You slap, slap it on slap there. Slap it like this. So and when you're stretching it. So basically what I'm doing here, I take all the flour away from the, from the dough. Okay. So because when you cook the flour, it's going to taste like a burn. It's not really good taste. You're so right. that's what we do right here. And how you can see all the flour go away from the dough. And it's ready to go. Here we go. Now that was very simple. Now, does this have to rise when you no. put... No. Okay, so we rise. Uh, so basically we make it the day before. And we, day let, before. we let it rise all night long. And uh, the next morning, it's ready to our customer. So can anybody learn how to do this? I mean, is this just, you know, push a little bit of dough out there? Everybody can learn. I'm teaching a lot of guys at Pangea, and I'm really, really proud about that, to bring some uh, Neapolitan culture to Evansville. So, so tell me, how did you, how did you come to Evansville? <laughs> it's a long story. Well, give, me the, give me the Reader's Digest speed reader. So I, I love what I'm doing. And I see that Pangea, I, I see that Evansville, uh, there is no such a good food about like pizza. Right. Uh, people around the U.S. they know about Neapolitan pizza. Uh, in Evansville, it's kind of, it's not too much. So with the owner, uh, together we decided to to do this. And uh, he, I was working in Dallas, Texas, uh, that time. He convinced me to come here and. Uh, well, thank him. Next yeah. time you see him, Zaya, tell him I said thank you. <laughs> no. So, what is the difference in Neapolitan pizza? Neapoli I mean, we Neapolitan pizza forces the oven. We have an imported oven from Naples, Italy. It's a third generation. Uh, it's a family in Italy that they build the oven by hand. And it's beautiful to look yes. at, too. It's a wood, wood burning oven. Uh, we keep running all day, all the wood inside. We use a cherry and white oak. Uh, the difference is the dough. Um, like I say, there is no fat, no eggs, no butter, just flour, yeast, and salt. Nice and pure. Nice so and pure. then when we, we cover it with the sauce. So right here we have a San Marzano tomato, which is a tomato that grow in the Mont Vesuvio in uh, Naples, Italy. It smells like heaven. It smells wonderful. And uh, we have a hard fresh uh, mozzarella that we also make uh, daily. You make, the they rest. make the mozzarella fresh daily? Every morning. And then we finish with a basil. I'll help you. Fresh. You just lay it on there, yep. the whole leaf, okay? Yep, just to make it nice and pretty. And then we pull on the pizza peel, which I don't have here. But the pizza paddle and the pizza oven, yes. okay. And the oven is heated to what by this time? It's, it's, a uh, it's around 1,000 degrees. Wow. And it's cooked about like uh, 60 to 70 seconds. So you just pop it in there just and you're done in, in a minute? Yes. Yeah. And wow, that's amazing. So this is the end result. Here of uh, this gorgeous pizza. Cheryl Mocha's already over there going, ah, I love that. So on um, this is the same, they're simple that's, ingredients that's a, too. This yeah. is this is this pizza yes. right here. Yes. How and now you can see right here the edge, the inside, it's just like hair. It is its air. It's it's yeah. open up like almost it's, like a yeast bread, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so you can see the air pockets in there. Just beautiful and delicious. So 
Come by Pangea and meet our friend and try a Neapolitan pizza. You'll be glad you did. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Don't go away.